As you may have noticed, I've had some really important not posting of videos to deal with, but I'm happy to report that I've wrapped all that up and we're back to our regularly scheduled something or other every week. And today I'm barely conscious and only have a few hours to work with, but I'm gonna make a smart curtain out of a tank robot. That's what we're doing. Thankfully, I already have a lot of the tech figured out from when I made a diaper launcher, which has a hilarious amount of overlap with smart curtains, apparently. I'll release that video at the relevant time, but otherwise, I already have the parts I need. Let's go make it. I guess first, you probably want to know the plan. My wife loves sunshine. Fair enough. During the day, this needs opened, but at night, I don't want people peering in watching us eat lasagna. This needs shut again. And so the push and pull of opening and closing curtains continues, which seems like something a robot should be doing. And a robot will be doing. So the goals are open and close before sunset, listen to my voice commands and do what I say, and set up theater mode. But as far as turning a tank robot into the smart curtains goes, this is the short answer. The long answer? I tried to make a fun thing for Easter, and that was wrong of me. The idea was tank robot plus dog ball launcher equals instant egg hunts. Unfortunately, the eggs decided to only cooperate while I was testing them to see which size worked best, and the tank robot just didn't cooperate. If this were a horse, it would have long visited the glue factory. And it was around this time that somehow my foot displaced the tank robot across the yard. Here's a realistic depiction of how that went down. And with that, Tank Robot, you have failed me for the last time. It's time to become parts. The motor and its attachment are going to be perfect for the smart curtain, and I was initially thinking I'd be using quite a few Tank Robot parts for it, but the wheel tracks are too bulky and short, the metal parts are huge for what I need, and I did almost use the microcontroller. But it was kind of going to be overkill, had some power issues when I plugged in my Wi-Fi device, so this thing's just going to be easier. Let's do it. So I plugged in all my nerd stuff, did the code thing, and gave it a whirl. Alright, let's try this again while things are actually plugged in. That usually helps. Okay, activate smart blinds. All right, well, that should have worked. Why does nothing work? I'll spare you the boring troubleshooting saga, but it was being uncooperative for no apparent reason, so I switched out all the parts and made a very stupid discovery. Whoa, wait, it did something. That sucks. Oh, wait. It's just finicky. Yes. Ah, <sighs> after so much troubleshooting, it turned out I needed to turn this wire slightly. Anyway, let's see if this thing works. Okay, activate smart blinds. That's a yes, let's install this. To pull the curtain back and forth, I'm using extra strong fishing line and to connect the line to the curtain, I'm using a binder clip. But actually, it'll be completely concealed and does its job perfectly, and you'd be none the wiser if I hadn't told you, so it's pretty good that I just told the whole internet. Anyway, once it dried, we were ready to roll. Activate smart blinds. These came back from a search. Amazing. Activate smart blinds. Mmm. Oh yeah. All right, time for a bigger test. Okay. Activate smart blinds. In what should have been a very expected turn of events, there is more troubleshooting to be done because the motor wasn't strong enough to actually move the curtains. Cool. So let me get this straight. I'm not even using you as a tank robot anymore and you're still failing me. I guess that means I tried to make a smart curtain out of a tank robot, but I happen to have one of these from a future project. Spoilers, I'm doing something that involves a different rotator. And so hopefully this will work, but I don't have anything that fits here. Which brings us to the last surviving part of the tank robot being used in this project. This wheel's getting glued to the attachment of the rotator and it'll be what the fishing line sits on. It's code time, everyone's favorite time, but I gotta do this for the three people that care and for everyone else, I'll make it fast. So we're basically just listening for when we're told, hey, we gotta do the blinds thing. And when we do that, we either open or close the blinds and we keep track of whether they're opened or closed. And we're also fetching what time sunrise and sunset are from this open weather map API. And a little bit before sunrise, we open the blinds a little after sunset, we close the blinds and that's it. The electronics are already concealed, so time for a little bit of cable management. And honestly, I might just paint these wires to match the wall, cause you know, why not? Cool, I'm on the world's wobbliest chair. Okay. Activate smart blinds. Yeah. 
It works a little bit slower than I intended, but uh, I was already trying to slow it down, so I guess I overly succeeded by switching motors. Either way, it works. And here's the time lapse so you can more conveniently see it work. It functions by keeping the line taut, which has some nice advantages for things like power outage scenarios. And that's all you see. So, I'm pretty happy with the aesthetics. I don't need one of those big tracks or something to cover the big tracks. It's just this little fishing line and you can barely even see the pulley unless you're looking for it. And obviously using your phone to very, very slowly open and close the blinds is not the main feature of this. The main point is to open it just a little bit before sunrise and close it just after sunset. But I want to post this video this century and I already know that stuff works. So here's a reenactment of what that would look like. Will you look at that? It's opening at sunrise. What sorcery is this? Incredible! And of course we can't forget theater mode. Okay. Theater mode. Oh, thank you. Oh, what's that? Are the blinds closing automatically? How convenient. That's just what I wanted for theater mode. Fun fact, when I set this up to close curtains with the Google Assist, it would always find close curtains and kept pulling up the maps and I was quite confused and that turns out to be why. But anyway, it works. We have theater mode. Yay! It closes the curtains and dims the lights and if I want to do anything else, it'll be easy to add. So it's a win. Either way, this video was not much of a speed run after all. I would probably have been better off opening and closing the blinds myself a hundred times, but now we're here and now we're back to the weekly post, so I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, Internet.